we here at Geometric are always striving to help our CamWorks users stay ahead of the curve and keep up with the latest in advanced technology. Here you can see a sample part in SolidWorks running on a Microsoft Surface Pro. Now that the part has been designed, I want to turn my design into reality by creating the toolpaths required to CNC machine this part. I'll begin by pushing this button on the CamWorks Command Manager to use CamWorks AFR or Automatic Feature Recognition to automatically recognize all the machinable features on the part. The features have now been added automatically to the CamWorks feature tree. Next, I'll press this button and CamWorks will use its knowledge base machining to automatically generate all of the machining operations required to machine the part. Now that the operations have been generated, I can press this button and generate all the toolpaths for machining. I can now use CamWorks state-of-the-art machine simulation to simulate the machining of this part. I'll start the simulation and we can see this part be machined. I can stop the simulation and open one of the operations for editing. Using Microsoft Surface Pro, it's easy to change one of the cutting parameters. Now let's look at a three-axis part that requires surface machining. I'll begin by creating a multi-surface feature and here I can select a strategy for machining the new feature. Once the strategy has been selected, the multi-surface feature is added to the CamWorks feature tree. Now that the feature has been created, I can select Generate Operation Plan to automatically create the operations for machining. Knowledge-based machining allows you to capture the best practices of your best programmers and machinists and reuse them automatically. The operations have been added to the feature tree and now by pressing this button I can generate the toolpaths for machining this part. CamWorks is now using multiple cores on the Microsoft Surface Pro to create the toolpaths for multiple machining operations simultaneously. Each operation can be edited and the parameters for each machining operation can be easily adjusted. The parameters can be adjusted using either the stylus or my fingertip thanks to the Surface Pro's touchscreen technology. Here I'll use the Microsoft Surface Pro's stylus and on-screen keyboard to enter a smaller value for the step over of the finish passes and improve the surface finish after the finish milling operation is complete. The toolpaths will now be regenerated and the CamWorks warning message and message window keep me informed while the processing takes place and the new toolpaths are created with a much tighter step over in order to improve the surface finish on the final machined part. Here you can see how the new toolpaths have been generated. Next, let's look at a part programmed using multi-axis machining to create the toolpaths for a 5-axis CNC milling machine. Here are some of the dialog boxes and parameter settings that can be used to create multi-axis machining operations. Once the parameters have been specified, the 5-axis toolpath can be generated. Again, the message window keeps me informed as the toolpath is created. Now that the toolpaths have been created, I can reposition the part and then use the step through option in CamWorks to review the five axis toolpaths. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and if you would like more information about CamWorks, go to www.camworks.com.